Ja, liebe Freunde, ähm, ich freue mich ganz arg, mit euch jetzt hier zu sein. Wir sind hier richtig etabliert, richtig sexy in der Business Lounge von Xbox ja, mit Emily. Und es geht um diesen wunderbaren kleinen Titel, ja, den ich zufälligerweise ähm, auf einem äh, Stream fand und mir dachte, das ist ein Spiel, das habe ich noch nicht gesehen. Das ist echt fresh und neu und wir werden jetzt ein bisschen was von Emily dazu hören. Während wir auch in der Lage sein werden, ihr kennt das ja, nicht? Ich muss die Kamera ein bisschen drehen, auf den Blick, so. Because later in the making we will post um, this one in full screen, yeah? And so it, it's easier for us to talk about something and people can still yeah, listen to cool. us, look at us, you know, yeah. and uh, they can decide where, where we want to go. Emily, so nice to have you here. Thank you for being having me. It's, uh, it's, it's, it's great, it's amazing, because I waited for that. This is actually one of the interviews I wanted to do, yeah, from the very, very beginning of planning the Gamescom. Oh, I'm so and happy. It was, it was the hardest. It was the hardest to get. We tried the Dalek, we tried everybody, nobody. You like uh, you like the, the the president of America, you know? It's, it's not so able to exclusive. reach. Yeah, it's very exclusive for us. So uh, I'm happy to have you here. Yeah. Tell us something about Felix the Ripper. What's what's going on there? What's what kind of game is this? Felix the Ripper is we like to call it a romantic comedy game mm -hmm. about the life of death. Because you play as Felix the Reaper, mm -hmm. who is a field reaper mm -hmm. for the Ministry of Death. So he works for the Ministry of Death, and he is sent into the mortal realm in order to kill people. Okay. And it's a romantic comedy game because Felix is very in love with Betty from the Ministry of Life. Okay. So maybe it's not meant to be, you know. She works for life, he works for death. Oh, that's sweet. That's sweet. That's sweet. The game itself is a tile-based puzzle game. Mm -hmm. um, so you move around your game board, um, and since you work with killing people, which is, you know, shady business, mm -hmm. you can only stay in the shadows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And actually, that's the core mechanic of the game, is that you have to manipulate the environment around you, moving around the board, mm -hmm. staying in the shadows. Mm -hmm. You get a sundial mm -hmm. that allows you to rotate the angle mm -hmm. of the sun, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and that way you can manipulate the shadows, move around the board, mm -hmm. and get things where they need to be. Mm -hmm. To go, go through it. Exactly. Uh -huh. So, um, each, uh, there are five chapters uh -huh. in our main campaign, yeah. and each chapter focuses on killing off one victim. Mm -hmm. by, it's about five levels for each chapter, mm -hmm. and during these five levels you will set up the circumstances mm -hmm. that will lead to their death. Really? Oh, yeah. Okay. Because you have to make it look like an accident. <laughs> can't just go around killing people. Yeah, so that's the core mechanic and uh -huh. the setup of our story, the game. Okay. Um, what, what, I mean, what kind of idea is this? I mean, you have, a, 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 you have some... Where, where does the idea come from? Who had this first pitch? What was the first pitch of that idea? Well, it was, um, it was sort of made by, you know, our team back home with Espen and the others, and then also uh, a guy called Son, who is a historian, is specifically an art historian. Mm -hmm. And he was, we were all very fascinated with, like, how death is portrayed mm -hmm. in art history. Mm -hmm. There are many, many different versions of death, how he looks, mm -hmm. what it is. Mm -hmm. He's sometimes portrayed as having an affair with life mm -hmm. or like a virgin who mm -hmm. is the symbol of mm -hmm. life. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we thought it was like a like a fun like juxtaposition. Mm -hmm. And so we went through many different iterations of how could you portray death. Mm -hmm. It looks mm -hmm. like different in different cultures, but every culture has sort of fascination with death. Yeah. We have death rituals, we have La Danse Macabre, yeah, yeah. Totenstanz, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. by Germans. Mm -hmm. <laughs> And Dia de, de la Muerte, exactly. Mexico. Exactly. Yeah. So we have these death traditions. Yeah. How could we play off of that? Yeah. And that's why I feel like he dances, actually. Okay. He's the, he is the dancing death. It's um, not to believe. Yeah, it's, it's really, I, love this, I love this character. For me, he's, he's, uh, he's a dude. He's the total dude. Yeah? He totally is. We call him like fun and cuddly. But yeah, absolutely. It's it's also very charming to have a character that is charming yeah. and fun, yeah. who is just a death dealer. Yeah, 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 yeah. And uh, it's the, because this is the way. I mean, we all have to uh, once leave this planet, and uh, we can decide if it's a strong, uh, sad path or if it's a funny path. And you choose uh, 
I think the best from all the worlds and the funny part and that's we really, really definitely cool. want to yeah. make light of it yeah. not make light of death but look at it through humorous eyes yeah. it is as you said it's something that happens to all of us you can't escape yeah. it you know yeah. so we have both the very gruesome but we also have the fun uh-huh. and if people come up to me and ask me what is this yeah. I like to say it's like a weird mixture between medieval plague ridden Europe and Saturday Night Live fever. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's like weird in between. Super. Um, the mechanics in the game mm-hmm. it was developed around the character, or, or how did you how did you start? I mean, how did you start the game? You, you had the mechanic, and you just thought, okay, we need to we put a story into it, or we have already a character, and we need to find a mechanic for that. What, what, what? Um, the story and the character were actually the first developed. Okay. The mechanic came later. It went through many different iterations. Mm-hmm. Um, one even had like like a conga line of dancing dead people following mm-hmm. Felix around the board. Mm-hmm. Um, so the the mechanic came later. Mm-hmm. Um, really, it was like a fascination of themes and mm-hmm. topics and story that mm-hmm. was like the main driver in the beginning. Mm-hmm. And when we sort of like developed this sundown mechanic, it was like. It, it felt like things falling into place, you know. Mm-hmm. This, this made sense. It was Cap- uh, careful with you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> it made sense yeah, yeah, yeah. to like make him a sh- sort of shady character. Uh-huh. It's also, I mean, a very subtle reference to the Hitman franchise, uh-huh, which is also uh-huh, a Danish uh-huh, game. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You know, working in the shadows, yeah, yeah, taking yeah, people yeah, out. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Um, but yeah, this sundown mechanic, it felt really right, uh-huh. and it felt like something we could really build on. Yeah. So you can start it really simple, you exploit where the shadows naturally overlap in the level. Yeah, yeah. And then you build onto it by giving the player objects that they can move around the stage mm-hmm. that will allow them to move shadows. Or to create shadows. Exactly, yeah, or yeah. stack things yeah. on top of each other to make longer yeah, shadows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it felt like something that felt really right for the character. Yeah. But it also felt like something that would have had great opportunity for like increasing difficulty levels. Awesome. I, I really love this because everything fits, everything is so close that a shadow, a creature from the shadows, everything is like... It, it must have been a great, uh, uh, happy feeling, I think, for you to, to go through this and see suddenly adding layers on something that is so abstract and so mm-hmm. no-go area for most of the people. Yeah. yeah um, luckily, we have really great responses to yeah, it. I know. People, there's something so. people vibe with, right? So sometimes it's the story, sometimes it's the character design, sometimes it's the music. But we get really positive feedback. People like Felix. Mm. They like his dance move. They think mm. he's really charming. Yeah. And then you can sell sell them on the idea of right. laughing at yeah, him. Yeah, yeah. You identify immediately. You want to. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. He's part of, especially my age. You know, I'm now 54. And for me, it's like, uh, it's not, he's not coming closer, <laughs> it's not that, <laughs> but I can identify with such a smart character because he's such a dude, yeah, and we all, in the end, you know, exactly. we become dudes, you know, this. He uh, yeah. arrives at the stage, puts on his mixtape, puts on his headphones, he's just jamming it, yeah, yeah. you know, there's something really lovable about that. Really nice. And um, yeah, how, how's the proceeding now? How, how, how will you go with this uh, idea, with this project? Where, where, is, where, where are you heading to the future? Where was the idea? So, we're really close to launching the game. Mm-hmm. Like, very close. You were, you were actually. I, I thought you launched it already. It's not quite out yet. It um, was, huh? Well, it was planned last year. It was year, planned some, last some year. Yeah. And then we signed with Dudelik as mm-hmm. our publisher. Okay. Um, and agreed to hold back the launch in okay. order to do cross-platform simultaneously. That's launch. good. It will be on which uh, platform? It will be on everything. It will be on Xbox, PlayStation, Steam, uh, Switch, and GOG. Switch. Yeah, I think it's a really good title. It's perfect. Yeah. perfect. I re- I really enjoy it in the Switch handheld mode. Really. Oh, I want I want that for the Switch definitely. Yeah. I think we- it's uh, it's really good title. Will be in the download launch. store then. Yes. Um, and um, so we we hold, held back the Steam launch mm-hmm. in order to do every launch mm-hmm. at the same time. Mm-hmm. And um, so right now we're just like really crunching the last few bugs, okay. the last okay. details to get it out. But we dream of doing something cool with it. Um, 
there's nothing specically planned. Um, but Big we, a series for animation, a TV series. Exactly, yeah. but we're thinking we could do something fun, spin off even maybe make an iOS version, maybe make a co-op mm -hmm. campaign mm -hmm. as a DLC option. Mm -hmm. All of these things we really want to work mm -hmm. on. Um, mm -hmm. But it's all ideas right mm -hmm. now. There's nothing concrete to Treatment, it. Treatment, you know, if people deal with death, you know, this is, it's not, yeah, for me it's like many of the things that I saw this year uh, have, have for me uh, an, another layer, you know. It's, there was a game I saw that, uh, that has a terrible, I mean, I wouldn't go so far, but there's kind of therapy in, in, in so many games now, yeah. Not only to escape, but to, to get into something that you can't actually deal with, yeah. yeah. And this little guy can become your best friend. You yeah, know? and it's like laugh therapy. Yeah, yeah. You're meant to laugh. Yeah. You're meant to sort of shrug off the seriousness and with embrace. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. embrace the... And they have an a bit the inevitability of it, but also just the humor, mm -hmm. right? How did you find Adele? Um, I'm actually not quite sure if we found them or they found us. Cool. Um, okay. But um, Espen is the contact. Okay. That. Okay. He, um, he's great at finding people who are cool. interested in cool. our work. No, I think it's it, it's a really a great uh, plus for the portfolio they already uh, have now and uh, I think this is it's an awesome game and as I said it was hard to find you hard to get you um, what else uh, did I want to ask you graphic wise mm -hmm. uh, how did you decide for this kind of graphic style so um, the look was uh, very influenced by the art history mm -hmm. um, you will see the little traces of it um, in the character designs there is like some levels which are like distinctively medieval looking, mm -hmm. some of them are like more 80s looking. Okay. But it was all developed by um, our graphic, Yan Kia, and our main illustrator, mm -hmm. Miguel Melisne. Mm -hmm. And uh, Miguel has a lot of different influences mm -hmm. in his style. Um, mm -hmm. I think when we sum it up, there's like a little bit of pulp fiction, a little bit of <laughs> medieval paintings, and a little bit of adventure time in there. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the way Felix looks, um, it's sort of inspired by like death being like um, a, an accountant. Mm -hmm. You know, your accountant mm -hmm. running out and mm -hmm. he's here to mm -hmm. terminate the contract a little bit. Mm -hmm. And so that's why he has this office attire mm -hmm. with the, with the mm -hmm. vest and the mm -hmm. tie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So he's just like the clergyman. He comes and he collects your uh, your death. <laughs> And the story, uh, because you just mentioned that he's uh, he's having a little girlfriend, mm -hmm. or he's waiting for, for her to get her. This is like the the, the hero's journey towards uh, fulfillment, life and death together. Really great. Um, how will we see this story developing? Uh, well, the story um, is set up from the get go. Okay. So I introduce you to this universe uh -huh. in which the game takes place, uh -huh. where where this underworld of the ministries of life and death yeah. are and they... We're going to see them? Yeah, you're going to see a little bit of it okay. in the introduction. Okay. And then you're like shot into uh, the, the mortal realm with okay. a televator. Okay. With a teleport elevator. Televator? <laughs> wow, elevator. You, de you developed totally new... Uh, new <laughs> wow, this already is a branch for, him, for itself. Televator, exactly. wow. So you go into the mortal realm and yeah. This is this is where you'll see like the characters you're supposed to uh, kill off. You okay. Know? Okay. And um, around every corner, Felix will look for Betty because he's he's in the world of life now. He's like hoping to find her. That's so sweet. Yeah, wow. he's a romantic guy. We're going to meet her a lot or not so often? Not so often, but keep it. Up. I will. I will. I will definitely. Ja, yeah, that's for now. I'm, I thank you so much. Leute, wie ihr sehen könntet, wir haben euch ein bisschen was gezeigt. We will have some material from you. Yeah, we were going to see some some things from Felix the Reaper because I really Caesar. I have to, and I, whatever you, if you have a playthrough or something. Yeah. But wait, like you said, when it's going to be published? So we don't have a date yet. We don't have a date um, yet. Okay. So fingers crossed. Yeah. We're hoping for this year. Uh, really, this year? Yeah, this year. Wow. Hopefully. Okay. No promises. Okay. Um, but soon. Pop Okay, cool. No, it would be because I want to play it. I want to play it on the Switch. I will love it. I will even show it to my children because what what what, uh, what age is this suitable? Um, I think not quite sure, but I think our rating is twelve. It's um, twelve, really? Yes. Oh. Because we have some cartoon violence. Really? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Um, but 
it's one of those things where if you talk about it mm. with your kids, you can figure yeah. out if they're ready or not. Yeah, 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 because uh, death is something uh, they they know about already, you know, and uh, I, okay, that's what, what the 12 year olds play, usually the seven year old plays also. Yeah, but it's a bit, she likes to look around, you know, <laughs> look like around sneak, the corner. Yeah, and see uh, if it's suitable for her, because she knows already if not, but I think this is something I, I at least I would show her. Thank you so much. Thank it was an so honor, much. it was a pleasure to talk to you. you I too. really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Thank you. Cool.